You got the goods? Of course I got the goods. You got the money? Of course I got the money. Can I have the goods? Of course you can have the goods. Can I have the money first? Of course you can have the money first. Is this it? Of course that's it. Let me know if you need anything else. Of course I'll let you know if I need anything else. Let me know if you need anything else. I don't. Okay. And we are back with the item that may improve your sound quality when filming outside on a very windy day. So what exactly do we have here? Well, it's called a windshield or a blimp. And it kind of makes sense since it shields off the wind that usually blows into the microphone, making those annoying sounds that you often get when you film outside and absolutely just hate to deal with. First of all, I'm very sorry to disappoint, but it did not come in this bag, which is very beautiful, very handsome, I know, but it did come in its own very nice special box. Here it is, and there you can see the actual item. As you see, this product is from Boya, and Rode has their own. There's a small price difference, but in test they have been performing approximately the same. So I went with the cheaper version, which means I'm not sponsored, so I can say whatever I want. Also, as you see, it's kind of beat up, this box, and that's simply how I got it. So I have a theory that my shipping fees were actually ransom fees to get this box delivered to me. <coughs> now let's look at the product itself. As I said, it did not come in this bag. However, it did have its own little bag inside. This little thing that you can throw over the shoulder. Very neat, if I have to say so myself. There we go, says Boyer on the front. And as I said, looks huge. But what we have to do is pop it right off into these small pieces. You see, you turn these parts here and just slide off this bottom part with the handle on it. We'll come to that. And there you get this big part, which is just a bit of empty space. I'm just kidding. It's not empty because of course it has this part inside and this handle can of course be attached to something like a monopod, tripod, whatever part you need it. Usually a boomstick which would hold this thing up. As you can see it also comes with its own cable for a microphone but not the kind of cables that you're used to seeing when you're looking at a video mic. Which is good to know because this thing is built in, so you might have to live with that if you don't want to attach it. But it's good to have if you should one day upgrade. However, the big question you're having now is, does my video mic actually fit on this then? And the answer is yes, with a little bit of help. Not that kind of help. All it takes is actually to take these parts off, which you'd normally put the other kind of microphone through. And what you then do is you take your microphone and just pop it on in there, just like you do with a normal camera that has a hot shoe on top, because this is just one long hot shoe. And this part will get rid of that because it's kind of built in to this thing also should it be so windy that you would usually use a dead cat on this kind of microphone, then as you saw in the box, it has its own dead cat to cover this thing. It's actually called a dead wombat because it's a lot bigger and safe to say, probably my favorite accessory of all these. There we go. And it is so darn soft. Oh. Now you come to me and you say, Danny, give me justice. But you don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even take the time to call me Godfather. All right, let us put the whole thing together and see what it looks like once again. 
And let's assume we're using this video mic. Go instead of these other ones, pop this thing on, and there will be a small space for cables. So should you have a cable that goes on the video mic, which you probably will have, you just pop it on there and then put this back on. It doesn't seem to matter which side is where. Satisfaction. Then you simply put the dead wombat on here and and there you go, this is what it looks like. And I've chosen to let the cables hang outside because I simply don't need them in there. And I could take them down to whatever boomstick I'm using, if I'm using one. And the grip is quite good. I actually feel quite powerful. Say hello to my little friend. I know what you're thinking, does it actually work? And the answer is, why don't we just go out and find out? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside, pick our microphone, try it with this on and without this on and see if there is any kind of difference. Then you can be the judge of whether you think this is useful for your filmmaking or not. All right, here we are outside on a very windy day, which is exactly what we needed. On the normal circumstances, I would really hate this weather, but right now this is ideal to test out this guy and that is why we're here but first of all the sound right now is not coming from him it's actually coming from this little lavalier mic which is connected to my phone and in that way i actually don't have any other cables running around the ground if i'm to film something where i'm just walking around this is a very smart solution also by boya and the cable is about five meters long should you want to connect it to the camera we'll cover that in another video but i just wanted to show you what it sounds like outside in the wind now let's move to this guy this is how he sounds when there's wind and nothing else added to the sound uh, in post-production so this is clean and i'm talking directly towards the microphone which is also very important so whenever you have someone holding the microphone you always want to have it point towards the one who's talking. Otherwise, it's just gonna sound bad because these microphones are made to have the best quality when facing the one you want to have talking. But that's just a quick introduction. Now let's try it for real. Let's try to see the difference between having this on and not having it on and actually having the dead wombat on as well. I hate wind. Our first test is gonna be the Rode VideoMic Pro and it's gonna be on minus 10 decibels for all three tests because this is just extreme and the bar that you can see down here is gonna be the sound without any edits on it so this is how it sounds straight out of the a6300 the quick fox jumps over the lazy dog second test is gonna be without this guy on the quick fox jumps over the lazy dog and just for fun let's try one with this guy on the quick fox jumps over the lazy dog and finally with the wind muff or dead wombat and no foam inside this is what it sounds like the quick fox jumps over the lazy dog now let's take that one again and add a lot of effects in post-production it's gonna sound something like this the quick fox jumps over the lazy dog. How you doing? You talking to me? There's no one else here, so you must be talking to me, huh? The quick fox jumps over the lazy dog. 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 Now, of course, it's very rare that we're going to stand this close to a microphone if we're filming, for instance, a short film. So let's just assume that we are one to two meters away and see what that looks like. This is about one meter away from the microphone that you see is shaking very much because of the wind. And this is what it sounds like from here. The quick fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now, without having seen the results yet and without even being the biggest sound tech guy myself, I would always recommend using this uh, muff because it looks good. <laughs> Not only because of that, but I think that it 
does provide the biggest protection. The layer inside is not as thick as, for instance, the foam that the microphone comes with. And this is made for windy days. So whenever outside and you have a little wind, I would recommend using the Dead Wombat. Of course, maybe when it's not so windy, you could do without, but then again, maybe you could do even without the whole thing itself. So in the end, it just comes down to practice and trying these different things out yourself to see what it's like but for the price and it's very windy now but what is the price of such a thing well let's find out when we come back now that we've tried these three different options let's talk about the accessories we might need for a blimp like this as you see i have it on a monopod which is actually made for a camera so it's not really ideal to hold on to the bottom because it's weaker at the bottom compared to a boomstick that is made much stronger but on the other hand it's probably more expensive so if you're on a budget this is a good start because they come down to 10 15 dollars for a very good monopod another thing is if you're filming yourself what are you gonna do you're not gonna stand there and hold it when you're vlogging what you could do is take this item and actually put it on a second tripod that way you can have it closer to yourself i would also suggest investing in a extension cord for mini jack sticks if that's the kind of microphone you're using because that's just been a lifesaver uh, and lets me move around different places without the sound changing because I have the microphone at the exact same spot. Okay, that's it for outside. The wind is hurting my face, so let's go inside again. <sighs> pew, pew, pew. And there you have it. That was a test of Boyer's blimp or windshield, if that's what you prefer. That's I think that's what I prefer. Yeah, that's definitely what I prefer. Let me know if you noticed the difference or if you think it's all the same. Oh, oh, but how much does it cost? Ah, ah, well, I think I got this one for around $120. And that's with shipping. It was actually $80 without shipping. So they did me dirty on that one. They even ruined the box, which is unacceptable, but I let it slide this one. Maybe I shouldn't. Say hello to my little friend. Calm down. I will say it's made to be used outside. So it wouldn't make such a big difference in here, which is why we didn't test it inside as it is called a windshield and it protects from the wind. The noise is made when the wind hits the microphone. So it's not a shield from sound per se, but the kind of sound that wind creates when it hits the microphone. And there's not really any wind here. Capish? I don't think it's necessary inside. No, don't. Why? Don't do it. As I said, leave a comment below if you think this is useful for you or not. If you have any other suggestions and like and subscribe because we'll be having a lot more quality content like this out very soon. And I'd like for you to be on the team if you know what I mean. See you next time. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what are you still doing here? It's over. Go home. I mean, you probably are home, but since you're also here at the same time, why why don't you like it? I mean, click, click the like and, and then subscribe. Yes, first you like, then you subscribe. And, and then you can tell your friends and, and then hit the bell. And you can also comment as well. And you know what? All these things are completely free. They don't cost anything. How awesome is that? I, I, I'd say it's totally awesome. But when you've done all those things, then you can sit there and wait for the next video. All right, that's it. See you next time. You got the goods? Of course I got the goods. You got the money? Of course I got the money. Can I have the goods? Of course you can have the goods. Can I have the money first? Of course you can have the money first. Is this it? Of course that's it. Let me know if you need anything else. Of course I'll let you know if I need anything else. Let me know if you need anything else. I don't. Okay. Almost done.